Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Breaking news. Hmm. Anyway, my people, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. President Mohammed Buhari finally out of the closet. Uh, apparently, what we are hearing now, Buhari meets with Osibanjo and service chiefs. Uh, regarding national security of the nation. It just got to Presi President Muhammad Buhari's notice now, since when everything they have for the country, say insecurity is at the height in Nigeria, and hence is meeting with Vice President Yemi Osibanjo and all the service chiefs. So let's get to the news and get all the details. I, Ninja, understands that the meeting in attendance was Vice President Yemi Osibanjo and the Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Boss Mustafa. President Muhammad Buhari presiding over the meeting of National Security Council. On the others, on others attended were security and service chiefs, as well as other cabinet members, including the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Godfrey, uh, in attendance at the meeting. General Attorney General of the Federation, Minister of Justice, Abubakar Malami, and the Minister of Internal Affairs, Rafael Agbosola, <clears throat> Agbosola, are also in attendance. The news agency of Ninja, NAN, reports that the meeting would deliberate on national issues, including the impact of coronavirus pandemic on the national security and the nation as a whole, the architecture of Nigeria, and all that is going on so far. The council will be updated on successes being recorded in the fight against insurgents, bandits, and other violent crimes in Nigeria. I don't know what they want to celebrate or what they want to discuss regarding success. So for me, I've not seen the success that they want to discuss about. But they are going there as usual to give their reports, you know, their own flamboyant reports for themselves, with themselves, by themselves, just to, you know, make themselves feel good that they have done something. When really, truly, and really, they know in the heart of hearts that what they are giving are all false you know false pretense and false reports that insurgency has been on the hike even in the time of lockdown we are hearing of what is going on in benway how the people are still being attacked as we speak you know so i don't understand what they are reporting to buhari and i don't understand what buhari is pretending as if he's not in the nation or he doesn't really know what is going on in nigeria so the council the meeting of the council national security is the first since the outbreak of coronavirus and pandemic in the country. Of course, it will be the first. Even Buhari, we don't know where, where he has been ever since. It will definitely be the first because what we have now, I Ninja is publishing all that happens today that Buhari presided over a meeting, apparently. You know, we are talking about you know, what happened in Kaduna, where... <clears throat> gunmen went and attacked a community killed 17 and i tell you when the media tell you 17 it's actually not 17 no. it's much more than that i'm telling you they only say that to make it look like it's not so much so buhari is meeting with the service chiefs with the vice president of the country with the attorney general of the country that is boss mustafa and uh, also uh, uh malami you know the just uh, the attorney general of the federation of justice uh malami the Secretary of the country for uh, you talking about boss Mustafa. They were all in attendance, and other prominent members were there as well to discuss about the issue of security. I believe they should discuss it properly and they should be honest with themselves for once. Enough of lying to Nigerians and lying to themselves like nothing is going on in the country when they all know that there is so much evil perpetrating in our nation as we speak. They all know that there is insecurities at the hike. They all know about the Amajeri situation. Did you hear it in the minutes of the meeting? No. Why? They will not talk about what is really prevailing and affecting Nigerians. They come there and they meet. Let me tell you something in case you don't know. For every meeting the government has, every meeting the government sits to discuss, you will pay them. 
So don't think that they are just having meetings and that uh, it's just one of their duties to do. No, they are being paid for every sitting they have. So they will come there and they will just discuss meeting obligations and getting their pay alongside anyway. But guess what? Do they, are, they, are they really putting the affairs of the nations at heart? Or they come there and they tell you that uh, IPOBs were, were caught in Delta State and here and there and calling them uh, thieves and the rest. They will not focus on what really happened. It is clear that even the security agencies we are talking about in Nigeria are the ones aiding you know, even the bandits, even the Boko Haram and the Amajeris and headsmen as we speak. Because if, if it's to carry out their duties on other Nigerians, you will see them, you know, flexing their muscles and carrying out their duty to the utmost, you know. But when it comes to these other people, you see uh, headsmen, the activities, of, they should have been branded uh, 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 a security risk to the nation. But guess what? Nobody will say anything. No? Nobody will say anything. Everybody will keep quiet as if what they are doing in Nigeria is right. So this is what we are talking about, that there is injustice in the country. There is so much injustice, so much evil going on in the country. But guess what? Nobody will speak. Nobody will talk about uh, uh, what is really happening. Everybody just pretend like everything is well in Nigeria. When they know fully well that things are not well. When they know fully well that the masses are complaining. Yet, but they go ahead and, and pretend as if everything is fine. I don't know what our governments are doing and those are supposed to be speaking for us. I I don't know what they are doing because they just go there and they live in denial lying to themselves now we are hearing that buhari had a meeting today with uh, these personnel you know to discuss the affairs of the nation are they really discussing the affairs of the nation genuinely or they are discussing what they want to discuss or make um, or is a feeling made good that they are working you see, it's a feeling made good that they are working just to, you know, to, 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 to satisfy all conscience, to make it look like they are working. Yes, to make it look like they, are, like they are working, like they are doing something. But Nigerians, it's time to speak up. The time to speak up is now. You know, in those days, they can just do these things and get away with it. But today, it's not possible. Why? The world is a global village. And that's why today, whatever we say in Nigeria, whatever we put out in the media in Nigeria, the whole nations of the world gets to see it. Everyone gets to see what we are talking about in Nigeria. Every evil prevailing in the land is no longer a secret. Everybody everywhere can see it for themselves and can say indeed that there is injustice going on in this economy. And we are supposed to be a democratic uh, environment. So if we say we are democratic, we should, we should be able to uphold the... The, the, the constitution of a democratic environment. If not, we need to be questioned. Great nations like America, like the United Kingdom, like Australia, needs to probe us and call us to justice. Talking about the UN. That's why we are calling on every well-meaning Nigerians. Please, don't keep quiet in the face of injustice and evil prevailing in our nation. You all must speak up. And one of the ways you can speak up is by, you know, you, 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 you leave a comment. Like, share, subscribe. What that does is that it helps the news to travel and every nation of the world can see what is going on, you know, and people can know exactly what the government of Nigeria is up to. Today, you know what is going on in, in, in America, in Australia, in Canada. Why? Because of the internet. We are in a global village. So if we don't like what is happening in our country, we all need to speak up. We cannot continue with business as usual as if things are going well. Now the president and those that that you know that needs to have this meeting has had the meeting. What impact has he made on the nation? Is he just sitting down and just having a meeting and just having a good time and say you have discussed about security? What are the agendas? How do we carry out? How do we implement what we have discussed? How do we make sure that Nigeria is secure? I tell you, you don't know what insecurity is doing to us as a nation. If you know, you will work at it. I don't think the government understand what they are doing to us by this insecurity situation of the country. You know what? You know what? Governments of other nations will not will not be encouraged. They will not be encouraged in any way, form or kind to come and invest or participate in Nigeria. Why? Nobody wants to come here to be kidnapped. Nobody wants to come here and to be, you know, to be asking the people asking them for ransom or one thing or the other. Everybody wants to live in an environment that is free and fair, able to carry out their trade, come in to do their job, finish and go with a clear conscience, with no, with no, you know, with no, no, with no, with no, with no, with no fear. 
it being able to close their eyes and being able to sleep and being able to, you know, look at what, talk about what matters. You are having a meeting. What are the, what, what, what are the plans? Is it just sitting down to say we are having a meeting all in the name of filling the meeting? Or is it actually with plans to actualize those things that have been talked about in the meeting? With plans to make sure that there, there is a pathway to make sure that Nigeria is better off than where, where you met it. Well, my people, this is the situation of what is going on. This is the meeting Buhari had today with the following group of persons on security and the state of affairs of the nation. What do you think? Uh, please leave your comments. Uh, let's know what you think so that we can all look at it together and be able to have a voice in the leadership of our nation. God bless you. Bye for now.